Hello, and thank you for your interest in Komatsu products. Today, we'll be discussing the cab controls on Komatsu's WA270-8 and WA320-8 hydrostatic drive wheel loaders. So with that, let's get started. So now that we are inside the cab, the first thing we want to do is get familiar with the machine controls, starting with the seat adjustment to make sure the operator is comfortable. Then we want to fasten the seat belt. The height, fore and aft position, the seat cushion, and the backrest can be adjusted independently of each other. And the armrest can be adjusted for height. Over the operator's right shoulder is the heated seat switch. The steering wheel tilts and telescopes for operator comfort. On the left side of the steering column is the directional lever, which needs to be in the neutral position for the engine to start. The speed range selector switch is also included in the directional lever, with travel speed selected using a twisting motion. Let's take a look at the dash panel next. On the left side is a group of switches, including the engine shutdown secondary switch, hazard lamp switch, front and rear work lamp switch, quick coupler switch, electronic control suspension system switch, and monitor brightness selector switch. The main monitor panel is centered in the dash. It includes a seven inch color screen and a round digital tachometer. We will share more details about the monitor in another lesson. On the right side of the dash, we will find the multi-switch panel, which controls machine monitor functions as well as the cab heating and cooling controls. Right above this switch panel is the parking brake switch. When the switch is in the up position, the parking brake is applied, while down is released. A lamp above the monitor will light when the parking brake is applied. To the right of the dash is the rear view monitor. This monitor can be programmed to always be on or only on when the machine is shifted into the reverse direction. This monitor includes a brightness adjustment switch that adjusts viewing for daylight or nighttime conditions. The Komatsu WA270 and 320 8 HST wheel loaders come standard with the multifunction mono lever work equipment control and some important switches. The work equipment mono lever functions with proportional pilot control or PPC technology. Forward and aft lever movement controls the boom, while left or right movement controls the bucket. Integrated into the mono lever are a number of switches. On the right face of the mono lever is the directional selector switch. This switch operates when the directional lever is in neutral and the directional selector activation switch is in the on position. On the left face of the mono lever is the proportional control switch or PCS. This is used when the third spool option is added to the work equipment valve. The PCS can be programmed for fixed oil flow mode or proportional oil flow mode. More information about the PCS will be provided in the work equipment operation video for these machines. The switch at the top of the mono lever face is not used for this application. Finally, on the bottom of the mono lever handle is the max traction switch. Looking to the right of the mono lever, you will find another important switch. The red switch is the work equipment lock switch, which is a single position, momentary contact style switch. If the work equipment is left unlocked and the machine is shut down, the work equipment is automatically locked. The right hand switch panel has a control dial and six switch positions, five of which are used. Starting from the front edge, we have the travel speed control dial, traction control switch, directional selector actuation switch, attachment selector switch, which is optional, remote positioner switch, and the two stage low idle selection switch. The Komatsu HST wheel loaders have a standard accelerator pedal mounted on the right side of the cab floor. Immediately to the left is the right brake pedal. And on the other side of the steering column is the left brake pedal. The brake pedals are mechanically linked together. Also visible in this area is the steering column adjustment lever. The windshield wiper switches are found on the right side of the steering column. This consists of two round switches, with the right switch controlling the front wiper and the left switch controlling the rear wiper. Each switch is labeled and operates an individual wiper to be either on full time, intermittent control, or the washer function. The turn signal lever can also be found on the right side of the steering column. This lever has three functions built into one assembly. 
By using a twisting motion, this becomes the lamp switch for turning on the clearance lamps, tail lamps, and headlights. By moving this lever from high to low, it activates or deactivates the high beam headlights. And by moving this lever from the left or right, it activates the left or right turn signal respectively. This concludes the cab controls for Komatsu's WA270 and 320-8 hydrostatic wheel loaders. If you need any additional information or have any questions, please reference the operation and maintenance manual located inside the cab. Thank you for your interest in Komatsu products.